Well, guys, the supposed Freedom of Speech Party has once again done everything in their power to wage war on the freedom of speech of people they disagree with. Florida Bill would make it defamation to accuse someone of racism, sexism, homophobia, and transphobia. This is nothing new, of course. Conservatives have been the ones who claim they're the champions of freedom of speech who want to protect your First Amendment rights for a very long time, and yet they have always also been the ones at the forefront of defamation and uh, libel laws, trying to make it illegal to say bad things about people. So, Florida is now proposing a bill in their state I'm so glad I can say their state, not my state, that would basically do exactly that. Holy crap, am I glad I'm not Floridian anymore. If this bill passes, wouldn't my job literally become a crime? Because, like, sometimes I call people racist. W would that... I, I don't know. Would that be the case if I was still Floridian? Holy crap. A bill introduced in the Florida Senate would make it defamation to accuse someone of racism, sexism, homophobia, or transphobia, which could total the freedom of speech in the Sunshine State. Oh my gosh, my nose will not stop itching today. What's going on? SB 1780, defamation, false light, and unauthorized publication of names or likeness, which was introduced on Friday, would make it easier for an individual to sue another person for defamation. According to the measure, quote, an allegation that the plaintiff has discriminated against another person or group because of their race, sex, sexual orientation, or gender identity constitutes defama defamation per se. So even when these allegations are false, they are automatically defamatory. Wait, well, I mean... Well, the allegations would be especially false. It would be especially defamatory if they were false, right? Like, they wouldn't be defamation if they were true. They would be defamation if they were false allegations, right? Under 17, SB 1780, anyone in these circumstances would have to prove actual malice, which was a standard set for defamation suits following the decision of the night. Okay, this is the current law. Okay, no, no, no. This is the current law. Um which was the standard uh, set for defamation suits following the decision in the 1964 U.S. Supreme Court case New York Times v. Sullivan. Additionally, the bill would make it easier to set up the conditions for a fact finder to automatically infer that the actual malice took place after an accusation of discrimination is made. In cases regarding accusations of homophobia or transphobia, defendants charged with defamation are not allowed to use the plaintiff's religious or scientific beliefs as part of their defense, and if they're found liable for defamation, the defendant could be fined at least $35,000. Damn, so that's the current bill. That's the current law in place. Like, if, if you are in Florida currently, if you knowingly lie about somebody being racist or discrimination of, of some form, if you knowingly lie about it, like, and, and that's something that can be proven or reasonably proven in court, then you could be sued for defamation, right? Now we're about to get into the bill that is going to narrow the definition of public figure and make it way harder to defend against a public, against a uh, defamation suit. That was Bill H or, uh, SB 1780. Now we're getting into Bill HB 757, which I believe is the new bill. Like its Florida House counterpart, HB 757, the bill would significantly narrow the definition of a public figure in defamation suits by excluding non-elected or appointed public employees and individuals who gain notoriety by publicly defending themselves against accusations, giving interviews, or being the subject of a viral video, image, or statement uploaded on the internet. The bill also applies to statements made in print, television, and social media. So the bill would literally apply to YouTubers. The bill would actually make it so you wouldn't count as a public figure who could claim you're making, like, co entertaining content when you, like, like, you couldn't use the defenses that public figures can make for entertainment if you get sued for defamation or libel, if you got big online through videos made online. So yeah, holy crap. I'm glad this is, this probably won't pass to begin with, to be fair. I mean, if it does, holy shit, that's really bad. And if it does, I'm really glad to not be a Floridian anymore. Whew! 
Lastly, the bill also removes- oh my god, my nose just won't stop itching. It's like right here. My nose just keeps itching. I don't know what's going on in this little part of my nose. There's just, like, something happening there. Lastly, the bill also removes certain privileges provided to journalists and media entities, specifically the right to keep sources anonymous. According to the bill, statements made by anonymous sources would be considered presumptively false and make it make journalists vulnerable to these lawsuits. Yep. That's really what it always comes back to, right? Hating journalists. You see, the idea behind freedom of the press in the United States, when our founding fathers, you know, created this glorious nation we all exist in, is the idea that the government is supposed to serve the people. However, the government is supposed to be a very powerful servant of the people, and a powerful servant of the people can very easily turn against the people it is supposed to serve, right? So the idea is that the free press is meant to have the ability to hold the government in check. The press is the avenue through which what the government is doing, what the government is trying to do, what it might do, what it's thinking about doing, what's happening, what's going on, like what the entities that exist, what the entity that we call the government is, is up to, the press, the free press, is meant to inform us, the people, about it, like is what's happening here, so that we can vote based on that knowledge, right? That's the, that, that is the fundamental idea behind it. For the right to destroy democracy, they have to destroy the free press. It's a big reason why Trump really blew up in 2016 off of the demonization, or de demonization? Demonizing, I guess it would be? Demonizing of journalists. Donald Trump and the conservatives at large have always hated the free press and journalism, from fake news to woke media outlets that they call it, whatever it may be. Anything they can think of or say or do to dismiss the, the free press. Because the free press's job, at least when Trump was running and in office and is now running again, is to hold Trump in check, is to report to the public the things that Trump says and does, for people to use that information to determine whether or not they want to vote for him. And people who support Trump know how, how bad that information looks like for him. And they don't like that there is a free press that is allowed to publish information that makes their guy look bad. Which is why they support the elimination of a free press. And they all conservatives care about, fundamentally, one of the most fundamental goals of conservative ideology is to win at all costs. This includes lying about their beliefs and what they actually stand for. And so one of the biggest, most prevalent conservative lies of all time is the idea that they are these warriors for free speech, when they are in fact the most anti-free speech ever. Who remembers when Donald Trump tried to ban burning the flag? Donald Trump on burning the flag. Trump who as a candidate in 2016 proposed jail time or loss of citizenship for burning the American flag, calling the act a disgrace on Monday and pledged to support pledged support for an anti-flag burning statute. He of course was never able to do this because it is blatantly anti-free speech, like literally the most anti-First Amendment thing he could possibly do. So it really didn't go anywhere, obviously. But the right has always been against any form of First Amendment use. That goes against what they believe. They it, like you are only allowed to have freedom of speech if you agree with them, right? And it's only ever against freedom of speech if people who disagree with them are calling them out. It's very hypocritical because, like I said, and they'll talk about this in their more private discussions, right? Like when they're in a Discord call or when they're doing like a a video that's meant to be here. I'm a conservative talking to a bunch of more conservatives, right? They'll talk about how. The goal is always primarily, and will always be primarily, to win. And they have to win by any means necessary. Trump especially follows this rule. Trump really, really follows this rule. There's actually a um, Trump libel law expand. It's not the first time laws like this have been attempted either.
Yeah. Here's when Trump was promising to expand libel laws so it would be illegal to write negative things about him. Separate front, we are going to take a strong look at our country's libel laws so that when somebody says something that is false and defamatory about someone, that person will have meaningful recourse in our courts. If somebody says something that's totally false and knowingly false, that the person that has been abused, defamed, libeled, will have meaningful recourse. Our current Dementia libel laws Don. are a sham and a disgrace and do not represent American values or American fairness. So we're going to take like American values like free speech. They just, our libel laws being as loose as they are, it, it being as hard to sue someone for saying bad things about you as it is, goes against our American values. By the way, the First Amendment of our nation's constitution is um, uh, uh, the freedom of speech and, rep and expression. So, very, very uh, just obvious bullshit. <laughs> Of course, our current libel laws are a sham and a disgrace and do not represent American values or American fairness. So we're going to take a strong look at that. Uh, we want fairness. Uh, you can't say things that are false, knowingly false, and uh, be able to smile as money pours into your bank. The laws that they actually write are literally like, if you say someone is racially discriminatory, that is libel. Not if you knowingly lie, saying that would be considered libel or defamation. Because the Republican Party and the elected officials in it are taking the position that racial discrimination, transphobia, and homophobia are not real things. And that they are a insult, one says, to harm one's reputation. That one can never make a valid claim someone is bigoted. It must always be an attempt to harm somebody's reputation. And so they are trying to argue that legally it should be considered defamation to call someone racist or to call someone discriminatory in any way. Because there is no such thing as discrimination. That's made up. You're just trying to make them look bad. And that's defamation in their view. Well, not really. That's not what they actually think. They know they're being dishonest about it, but that's how they would justify it. If you really tried to pin them on it, that's probably how they justify it. The fact is, the Republicans know that the free press is their biggest enemy. The people knowing about their bullshit, which we find out primarily through the news and journalists and whatnot, is their biggest issue. And it's why, if they have their way, the free press will be one of the first things they go after. Always. Every time. I mean, hell, look at any other fascist uprising in history. Have they ever had free press? It's one of the first things they go after in any big fascist uprising in any nation is the free press. You can't let the people know what's happening. You have to make sure they're only consuming state-mandated, state-approved propaganda like North Korea or China or Russia, you know? That's all that's allowed. That is what Project 2025 is, after all. The Republican Party is heavily, heavily inspired by Russia. So the whole state-approved media, state-approved news thing, definitely on Trump's docket by the looks of things. And I have no doubt in my mind most of the Republican Party or most of the popular Republicans right now, like DeSantis, would be fully behind it. Believe me, they would be. Oh, and of course, all the while they will claim actually the Democrats are doing that thing that they're doing. Yeah. Because once again, with Republicans, every accusation is a confession.